I'm Jordan Shade with Groovy uh, Media here to tell you about our artist spotlight, Post Malone. Post Malone has uh, made the switch over into country music. He's got his very first a song, which is called Pour Me a Drink. His lyrics go like this. 40 hours got me going out of my mind. Dallas dropped another game in overtime. Caught a ticket speeding down 65. You know where I'm going. Guess I really went and messed it up again. Now my baby's goner. Then a Tulsa wind. Judging by the stone sober sate, I am in need to crack one wide open. And somebody pour me a drink. Some, some bum me a smoke. I'm about to get buzz. I'm about to get on a roll. And that's a song with Blake Shelton featuring uh, Blake Shelton. So Blake, uh, so Blake Shelton has decided to uh, get into the whole drinking thing. There, Post Malone has had a big year so far. He's he's had two number one hits, as well as been featured in songs with both Taylor Swift and Beyonce. Uh, the rapper switched gears and released his first country album, F1 Trillion. It features major country artists like M Morgan Wallen, Dolly Parton, and Blake Shelton. And previous to that, he's had some hit songs. His, his first number one hit with Rockstar featuring 21 Savage with Rule for Eight Weeks. His number uh, ones didn't stop there. In 2018, he had Psycho with Ty Dolla Sign and Sunflower with a Sway Lee for the Spider-Man Into Spider-Verse soundtrack, as well as in, tw in the 2019 circles also made it to the top there. So I, I guess the question to really ask is, I don't know why... Uh, what made him switched it there, but uh, post affection for country music developed from his youth growing up in Texas and the music he was introduced by his father. But having achieved phenomenal success as a rap and rock star, Post Malone announced his decision to switch to making country music in 2022. I've also pulled up this little bit about Post Malone and um, it it basically says he did a song last year with Noah Khan and he also performed at the Country Music Awards last year so he's been building up his uh, he's been building up the moment and he's been laying the groundwork I, d I don't think his star dimmed I think it's only going to get better, and it's going to set him up for a pretty moment in life there. Um, you know, right now, that song is getting so much airplay. Uh, Pour Me a Drink featuring Blake Shelton on the um, country music radio. Everyone's spinning it and talking about it there because they know what a great uh, person there. Um, I, I didn't realize that he was that this was going to be his his hit song, but it actually is a huge hit. And he's got some really good uh, writers. And um, he's not the only rapper to make the pivot to a bunch of other genres. Andre 3000 put out a flute record this year. Uh, and Roly does something something different. And um, yeah, I mean, everyone is talking about this Post Malone uh, song there. Uh, like he had it with more Morgan Walder. I had some help. Uh, that song there is also uh, starting to get some airplay there, and it's only going to develop there. I I could see him going on tour with some of these artists there. Like he's with the one and only uh, Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton uh, wanted uh, to collaborate with him there, um, and you know, like I said, many other artists will. Um. Everyone is talking, is this going to hurt his rap career? I don't think so. I think if anything, he's touching on any genre he can. Uh, he might go into pop. Uh, we don't know. He could go, he could go into uh, some of the other ones are like jazz or blue or, or heavy metal 
or anything like that, rock and roll. We don't know. But that's only going to enhance and make him a better artist to uh, step out of the box in being a rapper. He's known as being the best rapper, and um, he's uh, he's reaching and bringing more fans and, and trying to bring the music scene as um, as a lot of people call it there um, all together. And it's a tough thing to do. No one's done that. The The other rapper that is really known that people will go to see is Eminem. Post Malone um, is not close to that kind of caliber for that there. He's, he's a lot far off. But uh, he's trying uh, to improve and get more people knowing who Post Malone is. What person he is. Who he, he I mean, obviously... His father had a big influence there and uh, listened to country music. Um, and that's a good thing. Um, everyone starts out w in the country music scene like Taylor Swift did. Then she sh switched to pop and look at her. She's absolutely killing it. She's, uh, you know, on tour right now and every city she goes to. So, uh, I mean, with her trying something with Beyonce and Taylor Swift that only goes how uh, what a diverse artist you're going to be. And if you don't step outside of that box there, you're going to be in that box um, un until the day that you, you know, retire and the day that you leave the music scene. So I think it's very important for people to uh, know just exactly um, what... Uh, kind of an artist there now uh, i will tell you this song is extremely catchy you can find it on youtube i'm not going to play it because i will get copy uh right there but i will say that uh, it's a very catchy tone there does he look happy yeah he looks happy i, I think um leading up to this moment um you know must have been a tough tough decision and a tough thing but i i think it's going to make him a, a stronger artist more diversified there other artists will reach to him and say how do you like it um you know i think he's enjoying it any artist that makes a switch from say pop rock or uh jazz into country they're always they're always they're now known as part of the country music family i mean him performing at the uh, country music awards there uh, it just sends an absolute message. Post Malone, uh, you know, probably will do, when he's on tour, there will do both, a little bit of both country and uh, rap. And and who knows? We don't know. He might do something else. He might surprise us all. Uh, I know I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what other music, what other hits he's going to be. And I, I can I could probably tell you this that probably other artists are waiting, and maybe that there's an artist that it was just seeing how this is going to work out there. Obviously, he's got some really good writers. He's got a good manager and a good record label that is backing him on this. There, they're all excited. Uh, I I think um, on Spotify, he's really knocking out the part there. He's getting more people are are talking about this, and. Um, you know he's going to be let's just say i think uh he's he's going to be collab with a jelly roll and that is going to be a, a really good thing there but doing the ones like say like the dolly partons and the older generation that really made country music popular is also another uh d diverse effect for him there so uh you know we wish post malone lots of luck there we're looking forward to seeing his first uh you know tour i definitely will check it out and uh i'm gonna listen to the um album but it seems to be um, a lot of upbeat songs on his uh, album so i would check it out it is it's called um his 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 album is called f1 trillion that is correct and you can get that on spotify uh you can also uh, buy that at your local record store order it online and go to post malone's website um and yeah like i said it's it, i'm i'm pretty excited to check it out and, I, and i'm going to i'm jordan shade with groovia telling you about our artist spotlight 
post Malone switching to country music and what everybody around the North America is talking about in Canada and the U.S.? 